remember, Travel Court's a relatively new company. Um, we, we, we were spun out just three years ago from Black, or from Travel Court into Blackstone, and we wanted to, to put a new culture into the company. And part of that culture was a sustainability and a community culture. And so one of the first things we did is we went out and looked at what we can do as a transaction processor, a, a technology company for the industry, to help the industry and help the long-term future of the industry. Since we don't own hotels or airplanes, we can't retrofit them or, or um, feature them um, in, around certain tourism awards or make them more economically friendly. What we can do is use our profits and our employees to focus on things that help the industry overall. First thing is the carbon tracker. The carbon tracker allows corporations or individuals to understand how much carbon they use when they travel, either be a hotel, a car, or an airplane. And also allows them to check different modes of transportation. So if you're a corporation and you're looking at um, and you're making your travel decisions on you know, the time and, and convenience, the cost, and if you have a, social, uh, a corporate social responsibility, the carbon Im imprint, you want that as part of your decision. We can put that in front of a, a travel manager on a tactical basis. So those, when they make a decision, for example, between a major city, they can take a shuttle flight or a train, and we'll show them the difference. It may cost them a little more in time, but we'll make it up on the carbon footprint. Those are important factors. How good has the uptake been of that? It's been a year since you launched the product. What's the feedback been like so far? It's very good for those who have adopted it, but it is still um, very much in its embryonic phases. Um, part of it is it, it, to get it into the travel-based decisions of companies, that's a long process. So our job is to get the information out there and then it's, um, serve, serve as an option. The, um, how many employees does Travelport have? Travelport has about 5,500 employees. Okay. Now, I understand part of your corporate social responsibility program includes five paid days off on volunteerism. That's right. So that's 55, does that apply to all 5,500 employees? Every employee is eligible for it. How's that going? Well, it, like, again, on these things, what you find is you find gr great examples of individuals who take advantage of it. A vast majority of employees have not, not taken advantage of this yet. And part of it is the ability for us to go out and, and um, when an employee has a good experience, to, to share that across the company. We, we view it as really important. We think that an employee um, can um, have a huge impact on their own um, feeling of their company, and their own feeling of their job. That's what I think um, Tourism for Tomorrow is. It's an entrepreneurial way, way for great innovation to happen at many different local companies. And what Tourism for Tomorrow does, it brings it all of a sudden to the world stage. It allows these companies to come and in front of the entire tourist um, industry each year at WTTC, wherever it is around the world, and the entire leaders of that industry, the CEOs of Marriott, the CEOs of, the ma of other major hotels and airlines and travel companies, see all of a sudden these often very small companies are doing very innovative things. That's why we sponsored it, because it is a thought leadership. It, it takes ideas and expands them rapidly. There, there are, are significant ups and downs you have on a cyclical basis. We happen to be in the worst down cycle in, in uh, 50 to 70 years. So clearly you have to make some adjustments uh, with that. But the long-term threats for us are, are the overall health of the industry. We're very much a player on macroeconomic terms. In other words, we are a transaction processing company that does hundreds of millions of transactions a year. When you're doing hundreds of millions of transactions a year, Small things don't matter, but giant macro trends do. So for us, huge macro trends are the continued expansion of new markets. And so if all of a sudden the, um, things like um, air travel is viewed as a negative because of either environmental or health reasons, that's a big issue for us because that limits long-term growth. Um, other, thing, other things that would impact us would be a, a lack of, um, of new modes of travel. We fast growing part of our, our um, booking engine is train. So expansion of public infrastructure for additional train in different modes. Airport infrastructure. These are the trends that really will hurt or help our industry over the long term. Um, there, there are some startups. Open Table in the United States is the most notable one. 
um, that have tried to do reserva re restaurant reservations. We've evaluated um, golf, golf tee-off reservations as examples. Um, but today, the fact is for, um, a, for it to work, a travel agent has to be willing to book it. And typically, those restaurant decisions are made post-trip. Um, the fact is that um, many people don't have full local knowledge, and if they do have full, full local knowledge, they don't necessarily want to book it online yet. So I think this will evolve over time. I think mobility um, will help. When people start booking more on, on mobile devices, the, the, the mobile device will need to source something like a GDS to get the content. But today, the traditional travel, travel model, even with OTAs, is not picked up on what we call ancillary levels of, 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 um, of booking. OTAs, the online travel agencies, what percentage of transactions air, hotel, bar, come from OTAs now? About 20% of GDS transactions come from OTAs, but it's growing quite fast. In the last quarter, OTA transactions were flat, while the rest of the transactions were down about 25% for an aggregate drop of about 17%. The way we, we cut the, the industry in several ways, OTA versus non-OTA, or our traditional travel agent, is 20%, 80%. Consumer business, because business does use, particularly small business, still uses OTAs. Consumer business is about two-thirds, one-third. So about one-third of, of, of traffic is business, about two-thirds is consumer. Um, if you actually want to book a transaction, then you need something more substantive behind it that can go into the reservation system of the supplier and book it. And that's what a GDS does. And so when people, when mobile devices start getting content beyond search and, and you want to start doing transactions, then they will need to hook into a GDS, just as OTAs do now. And so part of it is, what do you want out of a, out of a mobile device? I think over time, people are going to want a full experience. The group side of the business is doing quite well. We've been fortunate that the Japanese economy is is strong. We have a relatively strong yen relative to the rest of the world. Okay. And as such, um, Japan has historically been our strongest level of outbound um, travel, and travel particularly to low currency sites like Korea are doing quite well. Um, Japan's number one travel destination is China, and it continues to do quite well. There's a lot of interest in Japanese traveling to, to China. So that part of the business has done, done well. The traditional business, or what we call FIT, um, the traditional business has struggled. Over the last three years, all of the trends have gone GTAs were away. In the GTA business model, the key things that help you would be, in our business, a strong euro, a weak dollar, um, and uh, that's reversed, as you know, in the last year, strong um, a, um, ADP growth. I, I mean, AUV, so average, average, um, um, Room a, ASP, average, average self sell, selling price. Um, that increasing that helps us um, because we have a markup up beyond the room price, and that went for us. And now that's going against us, as you know. So for us, um, while we have no problem getting capacity or rooms to sell, we're having a challenge selling them at the same rates we did last year. So GTA, in the last quarter, GTA margins went down from 17 to 14 percent, and that really had to do with us having to lower price and lower our own margin in order to get people to come and utilize the, 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 the sale. Hotel rooms are very elastic. Price matters a lot. In, in times of increasing price, GTA does very well. In times of collapsing price, it's a difficult market for us. It sounds like your GTA is getting market share. Yes. In the meantime. G GTA is doing very well versus the competition because we were very quick to lower our margins, and we have very strong content.